All right, I'm going to call this a, um, I don't know, a trilogy of game crafting updates or whatever. Because that's basically what it is. Uh, I was like, I'm not going to do three separate videos. I can get all, and I'm like, wait a minute, they're all basically in the same place, uh, playlist anyways. Here's, I guess, maybe update one. I'll get this over with. So this is the 1924 plane that looks like this, supposedly. And then I'm turning into an Ottoman plane, which I'm not supposed to be doing. Shouldn't be doing, but I'm doing it anyways. Um, so I'll see if I can. So this guy here, um, it's a beautiful thing. I was showing Zoe all the picture, all the boxes last night, and she's like, God, you really went for the pictures. And I'm like, yep. Uh, so I've only done, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see, but um, probably not. But uh, I tried to, yeah, probably, I don't think so. Maybe, should I zoom in? Is that how to do it? From there, I guess, maybe. Um, but I did the the inside there a little bit, and all I did for the sides was I um, uh, just did like a darker grayish type of thing, and then um, used a very, uh, as a wash, I just thinned the living dickens out of um, the lamp black, um, deco art thing and then just let it kind of dry a little bit and it seems to have done a pretty nice job so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'll just zoom out again. So that's it and then this guy I'm using, we'll see how this goes. I want to also actually, this is a good thing I did want to show, is that I'm obviously doing something wrong with the priming or the washing or maybe my paint is old or I'm not cleaning the brushes properly or something. But you can see the, the, the bottom side. So this is um, folk art or some kind of thing. What is it? Folk art. Hold on here. Doesn't really matter I guess but country twill and this one is a mixture of the uh, jade green uh, sorry celery green. Holy shoot I thought I was using jade green. I'm pretty sure I was uh, and no I obviously wasn't. Desert sand. Um, and I'm just mixing them up uh, to see. So that's that bit there. Hopefully you can see. But here hopefully you can see the, the bad bit. I'm hoping you can. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Um, and I'll try to rotate in a little bit. But you can see that's one uh, coat of smoke. That's deco art smoke. So I don't know if I'm mixing it enough. I, like, you know, in the kit, because the bottle has been sitting around for a long time. So maybe that's, um, I'm not getting enough of the real paint. Uh, or whatever, and that's an, also a um, one one uh, coat of something. I can't remember. I'll take a look over there. Oh, driftwood. Um, so that's it. So that's my update so far for this plane. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to do this again just for the heck of, to drive hissy hissy cats nuts. <laughs> it's a private little thing. So there you go. Uh, the second update would be the, uh, this thing here. Um, Meandering Mike was mentioning it and I was like too, I want to know what it would be like color wise. So what I did was, and I'm glad I uh, went about this way. So I, I went and grabbed some uh, ice blue metallic uh, paint thing and I just uh, squirted some in in about a half a bottle of the matte, matte varnish. At first I was like, oh no, what, like you're sacrificing, but now I'm glad, you're going to see why in a minute. So I just sh shook the living dickens out of it and kept doing the same way I would. Um, and then I showed Zoe last night, I was like, okay, let's take a look at the first time. I'll see if you can see some. Uh, it's really almost like she goes, yeah, it reminds me of those like licorice nibs or whatever. Um, it's got a strange, hopefully you can see that. Um, I'll try to zoom in even more. I don't know if that'll help. But it's got a... I like it. And of course this is the mold of the... It, that took on the shape of the, you know, the, of the of the tube. But I was thinking afterwards, I've got a ton here. I can use a mold of anything, like a thin layer, and see if it'll... Obviously it's going to pick up the impression. I'd like to see what kind of stuff I could get. Because I was liking this when I was looking at... Um, uh, thinking about uh, Charles Latora's... Uh, um, uh, ship, pirate ship, and looking at uh, nautical stuff, and, uh, just sea stuff or whatever, and I was like, hmm, it looked like an interesting little, like imagine if you used green, you would have some nice looking, uh, interesting looking seaweed, I know you're probably going to get that stuff you could probably get at a pet store or whatever, or the aquarium store or whatever, but I was like, hmm, uh, it's got potential, like I said, I want to try some maybe different molds out or, or something like that, but I like it, uh, yeah, like is this like a, an interesting little fin you would have on your sea creature or one of the, ah, just, uh, you know, like um, the Shrine of the Kotoa or whatever it is. Anyways, and then the final update would be that this, I got to play um, 
last night a bit with Zoe, and I'm happy. She said she thinks she likes the concept. And we did uh, have changed a few of the rules right off. Well, one rule massively was the fact that no matter when it happens in a turn, if um, somebody is in front of you kind of thing right to, uh, uh, right in front, even if it isn't your turn, you get, a, you get to shoot. Because we were finding it was taking too long to take out people. Um, I'm considering going to a hex move because we were both, uh, Zoe was like, oh, I want to get more realistic. I'm like, what? It was so weird to hear it from, you know, I'm like, wait a minute. What are you talking about? What are they, do you know about air mechanics and all that stuff? But I mean, maybe you do or air flight, whatever. Um, she's like, oh, I want to be able to like spin around and do this type of stuff. I was like, hmm. And that was the thing I'm starting to learn. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have hit this. I'm starting to learn. Uh, you want to call me a, a proto, yeah, a proto game designer. I wouldn't call myself a whatever, but um, is listening to people in a play test about feedback. And I better because tomorrow I'm going to have a dandy t uh, son of a bee tomorrow, which is Rob. He's coming over for our game day and uh, he's brutal. Uh, so I'm going to have to get ready for that type of brutality is what I'm saying. Um, and I have, so it was weird, like, you know what I mean? I've got my own preconceived notions of what, I, I, this is just going to be fascinating to see. Um, well, it's also learning how to grow up and be mature and, and taking criticism and all that other stuff. It's going to be fascinating. Um, so what I'd like to do with this, yes, I'm going to go and uh, use some molds and squirt, uh, let it dry and do its funny stuff and see what I can come up with. Because uh, obviously this has got potential. It's insanely uh, inexpensive. And I used the metallic paint. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I used too much. I don't know. Like I said, there's so many things to find out. Uh, is hex, uh, hexagons the way to go? But that opens that opens up a whole other can of worms. And I'm not sure if that size of the, of the map or whatever I'm using is good enough. Eight by eight. I think, like we're already Zoe and I's like, it's funny, I'm just turning around a lot. I'm like, yeah, I know you have to start. She... She likes it. Like I could see her, the smoke coming out of her ears. And she's like, at one point, I'm like, holy cow. She's like, I'm hunting you. I was like, whoa, that was, it was just so like, I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to hear. That type of stuff. Uh, and then, you know, I'm just taking my sweet ass time. I was telling Zoe, like this, for me, this is a, um, it's like uh, pulling weeds, uh, meditate for gardening or whatever. It's, it's a meditative, whatever. Uh, even though I told her, it's got to become, because I, I went and uh, printed off this thing that was in the instructions of this guy here, uh, before you again, uh, 10 things to do, and the, well, these are written in another language that I don't know of, and um, these are 10 things I don't do. And then I was saying to Zoe, um, well, that's probably why I'm having such a frustrating time often doing these models. So that's that. I still would like to do this guy too at, at some point. And yes, Charles Retora is somewhere around here. There you are. You're still there. I'm still getting to you. I started getting a little bit more pinky. I'm trying to get him at a point where I want him to be like a, not as, well, his face, like he's angry and he's got high blood pressure-y type of a look there. But uh, that's that. All right. That's probably a bit longer than I expected, but oh well. Okay. Hope you're having a great time. See you later.